More importantly, though, is, the, is to tell the tale that we have to tell. Uh, apparently, Peter Robinson, uh, in, his day, in, his, in, his, in his glam rock gender bending days, because we all know Peter's got that thing that you know, he wanted to take the British stage and do drag. Very uh, glam rock. Somewhere, somewhere during that period, you had dinner with the man who fell to earth. Explain this, please. I was present at a dinner. Yeah, I, and it was wasted on me because even to this very moment, I've never listened to a David Bowie song from beginning to end. 1987, Reagan administration. I was a speechwriter in the White House. Bill Buckley wanted somebody to be a research assistant for him in Switzerland. And I, never having taken any vacation time for the previous six years, had a bunch of vacation time coming to me. So I went and worked with Bill on a book that became <clears throat> On the Firing Line in Gestad, Switzerland, for about two months. And what that meant was that we would work during the day, ski in the afternoon, come back to another couple of hours of work, all of this <laughs> in the Chateau de Rougemont, and then we would go out to dinner, and Bill let it be known to the people of Gestad that he would like it if I were invited to these social events along with him. And I have no idea what Gestad is like today. I've never been back. But in those days, it was a scene and a half. I got to uh, – James Clavell, the author of, of Shogun, became a pretty good friend. Roger Moore. I was once given a lift home from a ski uh, slope by an Archduchess of Austria. This was the scene. There were dinners in different pe rich people's chalets each evening. At one evening, I found myself seated next to the king of – former king of Greece – a couple of evenings later, I found myself seated next to David Bowie. Bowie, how's it pronounced? And he might as well have been the Secretary of Commerce. He was quite mild-mannered. He was quiet spoken He couldn't have been more interesting. But there was zero, zero sense that this man, who at that very moment was at the top of his fame, was a rock star. And that is my dinner with David Bowie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering, who is the GOP establishment today? <laughs> I think Mr. Ski Slope Blowfield oh, yeah. Davos there just told us. Yeah. Yeah, that was Bill Buckley's world, not mine. National <laughs> Scottite. Yeah, exactly.